What's up my beautiful entrepreneurs and happy new year. It is 2023, you guys. Oh, I cannot believe that I missed another week because Southwest had me stuck in New York City for another week, which is not a bad place to be stuck, but still, I needed to get back home. But um, I am so glad that it's the new year and really get ready to get started to get our businesses popping and thriving. You are going to want to hear what I am going to share today Today because these are the trends that are going to lead the skincare industry in 2023. Let's not waste any more time because we need to get into these trends. Now, coming into the new year, I think you should really be thinking about how you want your brand to be represented and how you really want to market and showcase your brand and your products. Now, for the first trend, it's going to be hyper personalization. The really big thing with hyper personalization is that people want to feel like they're getting a product that really identifies to them and it's a product that they actually need and want to use. A really big thing with a lot of the body butter businesses that I see is that we're really catering to saying that all of our products are, uh, you know, super moisturizing, the leave your skin feeling really soft, luxury, get rid of stretch marks, um, get rid of um, dark spots, get rid of marks on your skin. And there's just so many things that our products seem to cover all in one umbrella. But you want to have products that are personalized to a particular skin issue and you really want to think about it in that sense so say for instance you are wanting to uh, sell facial products and you have uh, a facial wash that you want to sell you want to make sure that that product is hyper personalized to a particular skin issue so whether that's saying that this is a face wash for blackheads or for whiteheads or to get rid of dark spots on your skin have have a particular product for that and then have a, a face lotion that also pairs well with that so a skin lotion for blackheads or a skin lotion for whiteheads and you know hyperpigmentation whatever, whatever the case may be but having a product that actually caters to that one particular issue so that the customer feels like they are buying something that will actually help them and then this is something that you can also really think about when it comes to marketing because you can really sell it as um you know you have possibly having skincare issues and you making this product to help you clear your acne and this is something that will actually help you you know the customer with the skincare issues that you may be having when it comes to acne when it comes to hyperpigmentation on your face so make sure that you're actually creating a product that is personalized to your audience and that will really help you figure out what your target audience is as well now the next one is going to be affordable luxury now i know we all see the big trend of you know uh black women in luxury or women in luxury and wanting to have that luxury feel but also still being affordable now i know everyone is you know stringing up their pockets because we're going into a recession things are getting expensive but people are still spending money on skincare people still want to feel good people still want to smell good so you want to make your your products affordable but also luxurious and this goes into the ingredients that you're choosing to use this is a great way to market your products sharing you know self-care Sundays and having products that um, you can combine together to make you feel good and get your your week started and that's just like a really good way to market in more of a luxury way people are really into uh, affordable yet luxury so definitely be thinking about that as you're making your new products for this year as well now the final trend is going to be brand loyalty now this is going to be really having a loyalty program within your brand that really incentivizes your customers to want to buy more and to purchase from you more often now a really good example of this is with shein and they have a points program so every time that they um per anytime you purchase from them you gain points and that can be used towards your um your next purchase and it's a great way to get people to come back they want to use their points that they gain and they also want to gain more points so that they can go shopping again so it really kind of creates that revolving door and people want to constantly be shopping and constantly be finding
money, something new that they want to purchase from you. So this could be a really good way to incentivize your customers to come back. Another good example of a loyalty program will be a value program. Now this could be where you take a percentage of the proceeds from when, when your customers shop and that can go to a particular uh, charity of your choice. So if there's something that's really important to you and something that you want to connect with as far as your brand goes, a percentage of the proceeds from a purchase will go to said charity or program. And this can be a way to get people excited to purchase from you because they feel like they're doing something great for the community and um, you know donating to a charity that they actually also care about and they're also getting the products that they want as well. So that's just another example of something that you can think about. Now when it comes to the trends that I have discussed today, a lot of them really revolve around creating that target audience that you need for your brand. This is really important to make sure that you know who you are trying to cater to when it comes to your brand and you are targeting those people um, in particular because everyone's going to purchase from you, but you do have a particular audience that you are looking for. If you're having an issue figuring out what your target audience is or who your target audience is, watch this video here where I go more in depth on ways for you to figure out who your target audience is so that you can start marketing to them properly.